when we talk about dime, we're looking at how can we use those instruments of national power that the United States has to further our goals, ultimately to make sure that the United States is more secure, more prosperous, more safe at home and abroad. And when we look at dime, those, those instruments of national power, we're not looking at them in terms of silos. And that's something that's very important for our students to understand. We don't go pick diplomacy off the shelf and then add a dose of economics. We're looking at how to integrate all of those into the decision making and the implementation because that's what our leaders at the strategic level are doing. They're trying to determine how best to use statecraft and diplomacy, how to make sure that our messaging and all of our actions that we take, whether it's through a demarche we might send through the State Department or it's sailing through extraterritorial waters in a freedom of navigation operation or it's actions that we take elsewhere around the world. All of those different integrated actions help us achieve our goals. And running as an undercurrent is the economic base. Economics are critical to what we do as a nation. We are strong as a country because of what we do economically. If you think back to World War II, what, it, what the main contribution the United States brought into World War II was that arsenal of democracy. When you think about our factories, our steel, our American workers and what we were able to bring, and that is in no way to denigrate the amazing contributions of our Marines, our soldiers, our sailors, our you know pre-Air Force, that was when we had the Army Air Corps, our civil servants who were helping all of those. But we, the United States, were able to contribute in ways that no one else was on the planet, and that was through our economy, our raw materials. And we are in a unique position. We continue to be in a unique position today with our economics. Now, our economics form kind of the the basis for our power in the world today. But there are ways that we can use that power in economics by sanctions, through tariffs, through compellence, through coercion, through promise, a carrot and stick approach. But it's not just a silo of economics. It's part of an integrated whole. And what we'll do in the National Security Policy and Strategy course in the core curriculum is make sure that our students are examining how we integrate the dime in a moment of crisis, how we do it in steady state, how we do it when we're trying to take a particular country or region and move them in a particular direction, how we're trying to move with allies or those who may not be allies, and why we might use different levers in different adjustments of the dime in order to achieve particular ends that we want. At the end of the day, it's about taking U.S. interests in order to protect U.S. citizens and move our nation forward.